Hi everyone, uh, this is the first time I'm posting a video and um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm looking for a stethoscope um, that works with my hearing aids and I find out there's there's not much information in the internet about this and, um, and so it, I believe it's struggling uh, for people like me. Um, so I want to give you some information what I have for now. Um, there are several not much, but um, stethoscopes, they are called electronic stethoscopes. And um, they are electronic because they use batteries, uh, a regular battery, something like double A battery. Um, I will show you, um, the first one that I have to show you is the um, Lipman 3200, you see? Okay. It's very user friendly. Turn it on, um, push the volume up and down. Um, you can uh, connect this to your um, computer and get the data uh, stored. Um, the only thing about this stethoscope is if um, you're using uh, BTE um, hearing aids, like I do which is something like this. So BTE stands for behind the ear. Um, so this part goes behind the ear and the other part goes inside your ear canal. So if you're using something like that, you have the option that you will have to use this stethoscope is first of all, if uh, your hearing loss um, is compatible with the um, increase of volume that you can have from this one. Um, and uh, the second thing about this is that you need to take off your hearing aids, use your stethoscope, take your stethoscope off and put your hearing aids again. Um, Considerations about this, I think that is dangerous um, because you can lose your hearing aids and each piece costs about $3,000. So like me, if you use two, uh, you were talking about $6,000. And um, so it's a big investment. Um, the other thing is that um, in a hospital setting, especially, um, if you're taking off and on, off and on, you're going to lose too much time with that. But of course, um, that's, that's an option and if you feel comfortable doing so, so go for it. I want to show you, oh, let me talk um, about the price for this one. So this, this 3200 from Lipman, I bought it in All Heart store in the internet. And it cost me like $3.95 uh, with taxes and everything for a hundred something dollars. Um, go for a store like that. Um, my experience uh, looking for this kind of instrument um, <laughs> told me not to buy it in stores. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because at least in the ones that I went, they told me that they need to um, order this stethoscope specially for me so I could not return it. And I didn't want to do that because I was not sure if that stethoscope will work with my hearing loss. So um, go in the internet. I have 60 days to return this one for a full refund. I just need to pay for the shipment, which is about eight dollars although I'm going to lose the eight dollars is better than keep an instrument that I'm not going to use and um, that cost me four hundred dollars so uh, that's what I'm going to do next so this second one it's an e-scope this one is from cardionics let me show you this part right here is exactly it's quite the same one that the that uh, the functions are the same than the Lithman's um, stethoscope. So for this one, 
you can use it like the other one, right? And you have this piece over here I want to show you. So if you're not using this, just use your stethoscope like that. Otherwise, this little piece in here goes and you can use this in your belt, you see? You can use it right here. So it's, it's very nice to carry this one. Um, good thing about this stethoscope, okay, amplifies the sound 30 times than the regular ones, right? Um, cost of this one is about $370. Now, to use this stethoscope, you have, uh, I will say, three options, at least is what I find out. Um, the first option is to use this with an audio plug, right, goes in here, very easy, and have a cheek coil. I'm not sure how that works in um, not even the prices yet, but if, if I get that information, I will post it for you. The second option is um, there's um, a little piece that goes um, directly into your hearing aids, like in the bottom. It's, 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 it's tiny, it's something like that. And then this audio goes in there. So you can carry this like that and just need this wire, which is very nice. I mean, it's not heavy, it's easy to carry, to take it off. Actually, you can have the, um, the wire right in there. You don't need to take it off every time because your hearing aids will work um, the same because it's a different program just for, for the stethoscope. I, and, um, and the other good thing about that is that the sound will come directly from the stethoscope to your hearing aids. So I believe the sound will be um, clear and, and loud, which is nice for us, right? Um, so that's the second option. The third option um, for this one is, uh, but this one requires a streamer. See, this is the streamer, okay? So the streamer comes in a box like this. And the one that I have is the streamer from Otica. This trimmer costs about $349. Uh, find this price in Amazon. Um, and the way it works is you put this in here. Okay. Um, you need to carry this because this is an antenna. Okay. Um, and, and the only thing about the antenna is that if for some reason this is not working because, you know, something is damaged inside, um, you will have problems with the connection um, from the streamer to your hearing aids. And that's something that worries me. But besides that, it's very easy. So you plug this into your stethoscope. And here, you see, and it's working, okay? Just turn it on, it's working. Uh, so you receive the sound here. It goes into your streamer, and the streamer um, takes the sound via wireless to your hearing aid. So you're hearing everything here. You can hear everything in here. Um, this streamer is, is very cool actually because you can use this um, to get your phone calls. Let me show you in here if you can see the option. Oh, you see the phone in there. So you can check your phone calls if you have um, an iPhone. You just press the button in here and um, you can take your phone calls directly into your hearing aids. You just need to have your um, phone near in order for the other um, person to hear you. But it's, it's very cool. Um, so, uh, again, considerations about this. Uh, for me, 
I think that um, you need to think about investment. If you, if you go for the streamer, remember that you need to buy the streamer and the stethoscope, which is about, let's say, $800. Or if you decide for the stethoscope plus the little piece that goes into your hearing aid, I'm not sure how much it costs. Uh, I will let you know as soon as I get this information. Um, and the, um, there's, there's another stethoscope available right now. It comes from Cardionics, so the same brand as this one. And it has a visual uh, screen. It's, it's very cool because, um, so you, you have the audio, you have the visual. Um, it doesn't connect to your streamer. I think it goes directly. Um, the sound is not as good as this one. So again, depends on how, um, how severe is your hearing loss. So maybe it works for you. Uh, which will be very cool. Um, that stethoscope costs about about three ninety nine. And um, if you decide to use this one, like I said, with this part is available as well for three thirty five. That's the price range that I find. Um, just one last thing about stethoscopes that I want you to know is that, um, again, don't go for the first thing that people tell you in the store. Um, just research. Um, they will tell you there's nothing else that is not true. I mean, there's not much, but, but try what is available. Uh, don't go for the first time that, that the first thing that, that you see or the first thing that they show you um, and if they tell you look this one is better um, just try it and try something else um, you know um, sometimes it's not the most expensive uh, choice that is the better for you you need you need to try both and see which one you need you need to you need to consider the quality of the sound that you're getting from that. Um, and, and maybe it's not the, the most expensive that is the best for you. So just, just try it. You say, no, but I want to try. Um, don't, don't go for it. You know, if you have to purchase something in the internet, make sure um, that you go for companies that accept returns without asking um, and, and, and try it, you know. Don't go for the first thing. That that happens a lot. And I know oh, this is the only thing there is available. That's that's something that you will hear. Um, don't go for it. Ask as many questions as you feel that, that you're entitled to because you are. Um, and um, you know, you will find the right thing for you. Don't get discouraged uh, with with the the few information that is available, it's, it's a struggle for all of us. I know how that is. Um, I'm still in the process, but I, I don't want to give up. And I don't want to accept the first thing that they gave me to my hands. I want to try. I want to see if it works. I want to get um, what is best for me, not what is in the best interest uh, of someone else. Um, I want to be... Um, a good professional so I need to have tools for that so don't get discouraged for 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 that people that you know just just go for it and if you need um, to ask me anything um, I, I will get more equipment next week uh, I, I will get some answers for you just let me know um, I would be happy to answer some questions have a great day